John de Sagulier was a member of Masonic Lodge No. 4, which originally met at the Rama and Grapes Tavern near the Palace of Westminster, and was very close to de Sagulier's home, though by 1723 the lodge was then meeting at the Horn Tavern. He became the third Grand Master in 1719 and was later three times Deputy Grand Master. De Sagulier was also active in the establishment of the Committee of Charity in 1724. In later years, he oversaw the initiation of both Francis, Duke of Lorraine, the future King Francis I of Germany and Holy Roman Emperor, Emperor as well as Frederick, Prince of Wales, father of King George III. After his illustrious Masonic career, there was some doubt to the events surrounding his death in 1744, aged 61, based on a misquoted poem. How poor neglected de Sagulier fell, how he who taught two gracious kings to view all Boyle ennobled and all Bacon knew, died in a cell without a friend to save, without a guinea and without a grave. This seems to suggest that de Sagulier died penniless, but it is now believed that he died in comfort. This stanza was taken from a longer work by James Cawthorn, The Vanity of Human Enjoyment, an aesthetic epistle written in 1749 that wished to bring to light the difficulties scientists had in getting funding and finding patrons. De Sagulier's house in Channel Row had been demolished in 1741 and he was boarding at a coffee house in Covent Garden when he died in 1744. An obituary in the newspaper referred to de Sagulier as a gentleman, universally known and esteemed. And he was buried at the Lutheran Savoy Chapel in the Strand, without, it seems, a Masonic funeral. More importantly in this short stanza, we have a clue to de Sagulier's legacy. He taught two gracious kings, refers to Francis of Germany and Frederick, Prince of Wales, heir apparent to the British throne at the time of de Sagulier's death. However, the cricket-loving Frederick died prematurely in 1751 and the throne went to his son, George, becoming George III. I believe that the phrase, all Boyle ennobled, refers to the metals that Boyle ennobled to make gold. And all Bacon knew refers to Roger Bacon and his speculative alchemy. This little ditty implies that two kings learnt alchemy, as well as Freemasonry, from de Sagulier. It seems a shame that after all that de Sagulier had achieved in a short span of time, to revive Freemasonry in England and assure its success that he did not receive the funeral he deserved. The first Grand Master, Anthony Sayer, had died three years earlier and his hearse was followed by a great number of gentlemen. But three years later in 1744, the same respect was not extended to de Sagulier. Why this happened is the real mystery. Thank you.